January 17th, 2024, the last pre-order pack for Ashes of Creation ended, along with access to Alpha 2, Beta 1, Beta 2, and the ability to obtain various cosmetics through Intrepid Shop, something that while was given ample notice, still created a bit of FOMO throughout the Ashes of Creation community, presumably influencing many people to rush to drop $250 to get access to Alpha 2, as it may in fact have been the last time that they were able to have a chance outside of giveaways held by Intrepid. Intrepid stated that the reason behind the delisting of these packs was because, as they drew closer to the Alpha 2 and Beta testing periods, they wanted to ensure a glorious experience for what our players who have signed up to help make Ashes of Creation the MMORPG it deserves to be. To that end, we have decided to discontinue the packs until such a time as our internal and or external testing supports the admission of additional testers. We will continue to update our community when more ways become available to access Alpha 2 or Beta testing testing through our communication channels. Basically, Intrepid has the player numbers they desire or thinks their servers can hold, and last we knew, that number was well over 100,000 Alpha 2 participants. Most people, including myself, understood that Alpha 2 keys could make their way back eventually and probably would, but I don't think many of us was expecting it to happen before Alpha 2 launched. But here we are, days after Intrepid has revealed their plans for server meshing, which includes splitting up the world into various servers, along with implementing dynamic servers, which is additional servers spinning online or offline when needed to support greater loads. And with that, Intrepid has announced Alpha 2 key sales will be returning, and the details are to be revealed down the road. Which is exactly what they said they'd do, right? I mean, they've built this amazing server technology called IntrepidNet that could revolutionize the MMORPG genre. Dynamic meshing isn't quite online yet, but it is expected to be in the next three months, so it could be a perfect time to bring these Alpha 2 keys back. At least you would think. But Intrepid has no idea if this tech they are creating is even going to work properly with the larger Alpha 2 numbers. 100,000 plus players is much greater than the 200 or so Phoenix Initiative testers they have in there now. And Alpha 1 invites, while going out to limited testers in the next few weeks, haven't exactly started going out yet. So why would Intrepid not wait until after they bring in Alpha 1 testers and get Alpha 2 going to a point where these servers are stable before they made an announcement that key sales are returning. To me, it seems like they jumped the gun with this announcement a bit because anything could happen in the next three months that could potentially push Alpha 2 back or put it in a place where maybe they aren't quite ready for more players. Game development happens, servers are always an issue in MMORPGs, so I would expect them to hold off and wait until they make sure everything is working properly. But in Intrepid's defense, they have not stated when Alpha 2 key sales will be available again, or what the price of the keys will be, and this is something that very much could happen after Alpha 2 launches. They have not said. But why not wait until we get to the point where we are 100% sure they can bring in those players before making that announcement? Speaking of pricing, this is another path that I believe Intrepid will need to tread very carefully on to not upset a lot of their player base. We know that it will just be a key, no cosmetics attached, and if there are cosmetics, it'll be a static pack, there won't be rotational, there's no FOMO attached to it or anything like that. But what is a fair price for a single key that isn't going to upset the community? How many players rushed out to drop $250 because they believed that Alpha 2 keys would not be coming back until we were much later into the testing? Yes, they get things such as game time and skins and ember to use come launch, but me personally, I spent $500 way back then to gain access access to Alpha 1 and Alpha 2 more than four years ago. If I could have cut that dollar amount in half and removed the cosmetics or the game time, that still won't be of any actual value to me for a solid two to three more years until this game actually comes out, I 100% would have because I personally don't care for any of that stuff as we're headed into an alpha testing environment. I would have much rather spent $100 on the two keys and left the rest of that stuff out. If the keys are priced high enough where they don't take away from what everyone else put in, then I think overall it'll probably be fine. You'll still have some upset people, rightfully so, that dropped that $250 when they didn't need to, but if you break down the value of those cosmetic packs, if I remember correctly, the keys value around roughly $40 to $60. Then you have the game time, the cosmetics, the embers, and all of that extra stuff that brought it up to that $250 price tag. $40 to $60 though, compared to $250, is enough to piss off anyone who feels that they were pressured into a purchase with FOMO. I do hope though that before Intrepid makes any further announcements regarding 
already an Alpha 2 key sales, the Alpha 1 testers are fully in, and really Alpha 2 launch has happened, making sure these servers can handle these numbers, as I've said earlier. Dynamic gridding is not yet even functional for PI members, they're still in the bug squashing phase before they bring it completely online, and anything and everything could go wrong. Let PI, A1, and A2 testers get it working, and then you open up those key sales at a fair price to get in more numbers. On the other side of things though, there are tons and tons of people out there who are just now discovering Ashes of Creation, or haven't even discovered it yet, or who have discovered it in the past, and perhaps they just didn't have the money back in January, who now have a second chance to get in and play the game at what I assume is a cheaper cost, so they can help Intrepid test it and build Ashes of Creation into what it could be an amazing game. Everyone that I've spoken with who does not currently have access and really wants to play is extremely excited for the opportunity now, and that is also something that needs to be considered. But for all those hoping to make the purchase, just know what you're buying. Ashes of Creation is meant to be a true alpha, not a complete game. There will only be a fraction of the content to start, there will be tons of bugs and unpolished features, and features just not working altogether. If you buy a key, know that this is what you will run into. You won't be jumping into a feature complete MMORPG at Alpha 2's launch, or even coming close to it, so if this isn't what you were hoping for, well then just save your money and hold off. But in the end, the more testers in Alpha 2 the better, because it gives them the potential for more feedback, more bug squashing, more server breaking, and ultimately a better launch for Ashes of Creation when the game finally releases. Having a massive amount of players to give their feedback on systems and archetypes and all that good stuff is truly what will make Ashes of Creation stand apart from the rest of the genre and become that next big MMO that we're all waiting for, bringing in a refreshed look at a struggling genre.